hello well today i have come back with paul and richard and today if you look familiar doesn't that building behind us look familiar you may be thinking you've seen that before i'll let you guess yeah yeah we are back where i did an investigation on the murder of annie pritchard now obviously as you know my previous video screwed up a bit because of the mic so hopefully we can get the microphone working properly but i was in that hut and the k2 was going off and other bits and bobs now if you are not familiar with annie Basically, Annie was murdered by her husband, Andrew McRae, and he dismembered her body, and she is laid to rest, parts of here are laid to rest with her baby, and let me just show you her grave. So there's her grave there, Annie Pritchard. Now, it's obviously far away from all the others so that's another bit of mystery but if you're familiar with my other video this is the hut that we were in that I took um, that we did the K2 in and other bits and bobs now I have brought the spirit board with me so I will be doing a spirit board session Obviously, Paul's here as well, and hopefully we will get in contact with Annie and see if she can communicate better through the spirit board. So, yeah, so there you go. So let's go out back to the boys, because I know they're outside on the bench um, talking. And I have just found some grave markers. So I don't no whether or not they were there for obviously marking someone's grave or what i don't know but that was the hurt so we're going to go back outside and obviously let me give you a pan around of the cemetery guys so it's really funny how annie is in the corner when everybody else is here now last time i was here there was a black cat now it's really strange because the cat's not here so it's really weird but yeah all of these obviously are buried and then the two boys are on there say hi boys and then obviously there's annie's grave so why is annie's grave there when everybody else is is here so we're doing more further investigations and more research and looking into Annie and her life and everything and more information has come about so she was married to Andrew McRae but she was also going to have a relationship with a guy called Guy Anderson now and then they were known as Mr and Mrs Anderson now Annie's husband Andrew he had a brother called Edward and they worked in a baking factory um, and basically long story short him and his brother obviously found out that Annie was going to have a relationship with this Mr Anderson and they obviously cut her up and flogged her so um, yeah so without further ado we will have a word with the boys and they're obviously getting things set up so what do you want to do? Do you want to do an investigation by her headstone first and then go into the hut and do the Ouija board? Yeah? Right, so that's what we'll do then. So let's get... I'll be back with you in a second because we're just going to get set up by Annie um, and go on from there. So hopefully the microphones will work and you will hear it better. If you don't, you can kick my ass and just say, oh, bollocks to you. Um, but yeah, so we're going from there. So I'll be back with you in a second, guys. Right. We are we are back at Annie's headstone. We've all set up. 
obviously Paul is going to use spirit talker. Later on we will go into the hut and we will use the spirit board. And the K2 is there. So I'm going to introduce ourselves to Annie and see if Paul can make communication with her and she will speak to Paul. I'm calling out to the spirit of Annie Pritchard. Annie, if you're here and you remember me, my name is Joanne. I was here a few weeks ago. Can you light those lights up for me? Annie, please trust these people. They're absolutely fine. You know Richard. And this is Paul. There you go. She's now Annie. Thank you. Believe me, you can trust them. You can trust them, Annie. They're not going to harm you. But Paul's going to ask some questions. Is that okay? Annie, please trust me on this one. Thank you, darling. I'm going to pass you over to Paul now, okay? And Paul's going to ask questions. Okay, Annie. I'm going to be nice and gentle with you. In this device in my hand is a spirit talker. I know a bit about your story and I was quite shocked the way you've been treated not just on this earth but the way you've been buried I think this was not right you should have been in another place and honoured and remembered the proper way so if you want to come through please do Annie are you willing to talk to my friend Paul? Thank you. Can you talk with him then please? He won't harm you and he has absolutely utmost respect for you. Annie, will you please speak to him? Annie, I heard about what happened to you. That was disgusting. No person deserved that at all. No. No. I know. Well, did you moan about it? Everybody moaned about you. You didn't have to moan. If you're on about moaning, you can have a moan to us, Annie. You can moan to us, lovely. And the people who did that to you are hopefully now burning in hell. They deserved it. Did you know that Andrew and his brother did you know that they killed you? Did they? Did you know that they were going to do that to you? Annie, is your baby okay? Annie, make those lights go off if you're happy with your baby. Please talk to me, sweetheart. You've done this before. Don't be scared. Please come forward. Make those lights go off for me, Annie. Annie, please talk to us, sweetheart. Annie, if you want to use my energy, Please do, by all means. The thing with Annie is she's got to get to know you and she's got to trust you and I'm trying to get her to build the trust up on us. Now, um, she didn't really take very kindly to men and she doesn't, she needs to talk to Paul. Annie, please darling, you can trust me and I swear to God these people won't harm you. They are my friends. Can you light those up if you want to speak with Paul? Can you light those up for me, Annie? Annie, I've done a lot more research about you. And Andrew was a coward. He was married to somebody else, wasn't he? And you found out. Label. Yeah, Maybe. they labelled you, didn't they? Annie, did you know your husband was married? Annie, please don't be afraid. Make those lights go off, sweetheart. You communicated me really well last time I was here. This is what she does to get to the bit. Annie, if you're here, or if there's any other spirits here, can you make those lights go off? But I'm trying to communicate with Annie Pritchard. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Annie. Thank you so much. Annie, we know you're here now. If that's you, Annie, can you just stop those lights? 
Thank you, sweetheart. We know you're here. Is your baby okay? Are you with your baby? Where? Where? You don't know where you're buried, do you, Annie? We're sitting beside your grave and your baby's buried with you. Do you know your baby's buried with you? Annie, do you think your baby's missing? <gasps> no, your baby's with you, darling. Annie, your baby is buried with you. Annie, talk to Paul rather than me, darling. Annie, we need to know your story. And that's why we're going to research it. Hey, Susan, many calls. And I'm proud of your story that your baby is buried with you. But what I can't understand, Annie, is the way that they've not put the whole of your body in the same place. And we need to look at that, because that was wrong. You did nothing on this earth but just be a normal person. And your life was taken away by two people. And I've come here to show you that all men are not the same. In this modern world today, Annie, a person who did that to a person would have been put in jail for a very long time. I don't know if you can see the K2 guys, but he's going. I think we are in the company of Annie, and I think she's now starting to trust and start to talk and open up. Annie, do you mind holding? Insist. What do you insist on? Do you insist me talking to you, or do you want Paul to talk to you? If you want me, can you make those lights go to red? If you want Paul, can you stop them? No, she's trusting you now. Annie, as I was saying today, the person did that like they did to you. That have been put away in the prison for life. And those people who do those crimes will end up going to hell because they are disgusting. That's really weird now. We're talking about Annie and the church bells are going off. Annie, can you hear those church bells? Don't be scared to talk to me, Annie. Annie, can you put those lights back on now? Take it all the way up if you need to. Okay. Thank you, Annie. You've got a beautiful gravestone. You're kind here. There you go. Thank you, Annie. I'm glad you're here. As I said when I first come here, I'm going to respect you, Annie. I'm going to be so kind to you, Annie. Annie, do you like to be called Mrs. Anderson? Do you want me to refer you as Mrs. Anderson? Obviously not. Do you like to be called Annie? Is that correct? Can you make those lights go off if you like to be called Annie? She's very, very wary. Very wary. I'll get in that feeling. She don't trust men. She does not trust men at all. I'll get in my face that he's watching. He's being very cautious. Annie, please don't be cautious, darling. It's uh, fine, I promise you. I wouldn't have brought them here. Thank you, Annie. So she's standing back. Annie, as I've said, you can use my energy. You can touch my arms. I'm not here to frighten you. I'm here to respect you and your wishes. Annie? 
I need, do you remember me from last time? Did you make those lights go off? Do you remember me? And how I came to speak to you? Thank you. Thank you. funny. Yeah, I know, you said that before, do you? find it quite funny that people are talking to you. It is funny. It's funny that we are talking to you, and I hope you like us talking to you. Evil. Evil. Yes, those people who did that to you were evil, Annie. Katie's done mad, I don't know if you can see it, guys. You know what I like to do, Annie? And I think Joe would like help me with it. I'd like to come up here one day with some tools and turn your gravestone up and put some beautiful flowers there instead of this ivy. What do you think about me doing that, Annie? Lawful. Lawful. Yes, they were lawful. They did get their... Yeah. They did get their punishment. They were both hung. They yeah. deserve to be hung, Annie. They deserved it. So would you like me to do that, Annie? Can we tie your grave up and put some flowers there? Because I don't think nobody cares in that like we do. So if you like me to do that, Annie, would you better put those lights on for me? If we come back and we start looking after your grave, would you like that? Would you to tie you up for you, Annie? I've never forgotten you, Annie. You're always in my thoughts, lovely, and your baby. We'll take all that ivy off your headstone, clean it all up. Would you like that, Annie? Put those lights on if that's what you want us to do, Annie. We'll even bring a little teddy bear up for your child. There you go, look at that. Died very recently. Now that's obviously another spirit coming through. Yeah. Because obviously Annie didn't die recently. Annie died um, the 18, 1893. Thank you, Richard. Um, so would you like us to bring a little teddy bear up for your child? Put that down by the gravestone as well. There may be other spirits that want to come through, but at the moment we are trying, we're not ignoring the other spirits, but we are trying to get hold of Annie, and I think we are communicating with Annie. The sun's coming out now, so you might not be able to see the K2. It is going off, it's going yeah. up to red. Are there any other spirits here? If there are, are any other spirits, you're quite welcome to join us. Do you know Annie? I'm losing energy. Oh, bless her. Annie, use my energy. Use my energy as much as you can. Use mine as well, Annie. Please, go for it, sweetheart. See what I say? Now she's actually trusting you and she's, you know... Thank you, Annie. Come on, you can use my energy, darling. Just drain me completely. Honestly, drain me. Can help me sleep. I mean, it'd be good to come and tidy that up. Yeah. It would just do a little square bit. Yeah. That is good, so yeah. Oh. You know, we give her a bit of my respect. Um, nobody cares about her. No, but I do, I always think about her. So obviously, yeah. I think the camera's pointing on me, but I think you can see the K2. Um, so the next step we'll do is we will go into the hut. Annie, would you like us to communicate with you through My a... My neck. My neck. My neck, yeah, because she, she had her head... Sorry, Annie, you had your head decapitated. Yeah, I'm very sorry to hear that, Annie. <coughs> but as I've said, Annie, those two now are burning in hell. You're now with the angels and your baby. The angels are with you now, and I heard that. Did you, yeah, I was going to say, did you hear that? Yeah, a snap. Annie, was that you just snapping the bit of wood? Can you make those lights go to red if that was you, Annie? Are you just behind that fence, Annie? Annie, please. Joshua. Just... Joshua, is that the name of your baby? Or is that another spirit here? Have we got a spirit of Joshua? Joshua? Hey, she's still bleeping. Um, Annie, do you want us to go into the hut and use the spirit board? 
There you go. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of noises. Yeah. That was definitely a crack in here. Yeah. Annie, should we go into the hut now when I use the spirit board? Do you want to talk through me through that? Have a seance. Would you like to talk through the spirit board, Annie? We can still do this as well, Annie. Yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, now is we are going to go into the hut and I'm going to get the spirit board and we are going to communicate, well, see if we can communicate better through Annie because apparently she will communicate through the spirit board better and we'll see if any of the spirits come through. So we'll go into the hut and we'll start the spirit board session. Right, so I'm in the hut and I've got the spirit board with me um, and the cat balls are on as well, so if anything you can start doing the cat balls. So we're going to start the session. Paul's obviously going to be asking the questions, but I'm going to be doing the board. So we'll open the board first, so clear your mind, we'll go silent, and clear in my mind and find the um, Calling out to any spirits who can hear my voice. Annie. Annie, are you? Oh, here we go. Straight away, look. Annie. Raymond. Raymond. Yeah, but is this Annie? Yeah. Annie, have you come in here with us? Move the board, move it. Me. Honey, where are you going? Is it funny? C I E S. Sorry. Oh, it's been here again. Yes. Annie, are you in here with us? Could you let us know? Send. Send. Oh. So we've got two spirits in here then. Is that correct? Oh, whoa, 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 yes. So, Annie, we've got you and your baby in here with us. Oh, my God, this is going mental. I'm so pleased with that, Annie. Annie, there's a bucket not far from me. Could you make a noise to that bucket? You. Three. You three. Yep. So which three of us here, Annie? Annie? Annie, do you know Andrew when his brother killed you? I'm barely touching this. Yes. C. A. Where are you going? Oh my god, my hands are getting burning. B. A. You are respectful. Thank you, Annie. No. B A no, B A no. What does that mean? Thank you so much, Annie. We come with respect for you. Do you understand us? My hands are burning. Sorry, me. Sorry, spirit. Bear with me. My hands are burning. Whoa. Any spirits? Can you make those cat balls light up? Can you move them? Concentrate. Okay, I will. 
Sorry. Annie, are you telling Joe off? I don't know where this is going. Where is it going? Yeah, it's a board. <laughs> Annie, are you telling him to go off? Well? Was that you? Was that you, Annie? Don't worry, you're not in trouble, Annie. Yes, you do. Annie, we don't mind that. Me 
Annie, are you still here? Or have you gone for a rest now? Obviously, I 
any of us come to know and we seem to see some of that and obviously some words can be spirit but now yes again when you probably watch this video you're probably going to say that I was moving it it was my finger I was not and I know Paul's here and Paul will find a date but I can assure no. you I was not moving my hand the no. Paul was doing the talking now when I first heard about Annie and it was frankly to Sabrina that told me about her she did say that Annie is better communication through the spirit board and yeah. that's what we've done and honestly I can assure you guys I was not moving it you know you'll probably look at it and think yes you were you were moving it but my hand was on fire or it felt like it was burning and um yeah so until the next time and we yeah. will be back here but until the next time thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it Comment below if you want to, um, but we'll leave it there. So from Rocky Ghosters, so say bye, Richard. Yeah. <coughs> say bye, Paul. Bye bye. And from myself, take care. Bye.